When it comes to red snapper... We've had years of these meetings. Every study shows there's plenty of fish out there. Local fishermen are fed up. The fact that we have probably the strongest fish population in the Gulf in the shortest, most restrictive season. They want change. Because this isn't working out. Red snapper had been the bread and butter fish of the charter industry for years. But now what was a 180-day season is down to just 27 days. The Gulf of Mexico Fishery Management Council is proposing letting the five Gulf states manage their own fisheries. And if we went to regional management, it could tweak the system. But quotas and limits would still be controlled by the federal government. We're not addressing the problem that we have. The re regionalization, though I am not against it as an idea, is not going to be our savior. Charter Captain Matt McLeod wants the states to go non-compliant, ignore the rules and limits. By doing that, we give the National Marine Fishery Service a problem. Their uh, Gulf Red Snapper plan uh, will essentially crumble and be worthless. I can understand their frustration, and I think it's a real possibility if, if 27 days is what we end up with. Texas already sets its own limits and season. Florida and Louisiana are leaning that way, leaving Alabama with all those Red Snapper and no way to legally catch them. In Orange Beach, Debbie Williams, News 5.